Levels are used in Revit to specify the height at which objects will be inserted or drawn at. If we take a look at our floor plans, the level one, and have our elevation, south elevation open, we'll notice that level one is at a zero feet, zero inch elevation, which means that if we would draw anything on level one, by default, it'll try to be zero feet, zero inches off of the ground. With our level two floor plan, if we would go into that and start drawing those objects in, any object we would by default place would be 10 feet off of the ground. If the level two would move up or down, then all those objects associated with level two would also go up and down so they would keep the appropriate elevation or height off of the ground whenever we're modeling inside of our project. Levels are used for defining the locations of where each of our floor plans are going to be in three-dimensional space. Most likely, you'll have a roof level to specify the elevation at which your roof will be at. You may have parapet levels, top of footing levels. A level will be for any time you're going to have multiple objects and you want to draw them at a constant elevation, you'll create a level for that. The process of creating the level is this. I usually like to zoom all the way on out so that I can see the entire length of my levels. Underneath the architecture tab, select on level. When you do this, on the options bar going across the top of the screen, there'll be a check mark next to make plan view. What this will do is it'll automatically create a new plan view here underneath your project browser. This will work really well, so after we've drawn in our first level, which will be level three, we'll be able to do another floor at that level, at that elevation. There's a button next to make plan view that says plan view types. If you select on that, you'll see the different types of views that by default Revit's gonna to try to create over here under the project browser. Click on structural plan. Because now only ceiling plan and floor plan is highlighted, those are gonna be the only two new plans that get created here under the project browser when we create our new levels. Let's go ahead and try that by clicking on OK. Move over to the left-hand side. We'll worry about the exact elevations later and click when you get that dashed line showing up at the end of your level lines. Move straight over and click again. Do this one more time. Once again, I'm not worried too much about the elevations. We're gonna adjust this after the fact. When you're done with the clicking, hit escape a couple of times on the keyboard. What you'll notice is it's now created those extra levels here underneath floor plans, as well as underneath your ceiling plans. If we zoom in, we'll see that the elevation for level three because of where I picked is 18 foot six inches. Yours might be slightly different based on where you picked. Now, if I want my level three to be at a different elevation, I can do that. Simply click on the level line itself, then click on the dimension and type in, in this case, 20 for 20 feet and hit enter. Now level three, and if anything had been drawn on it, anything that was associated with level three has now been raised up to the 20 foot mark. Do the same thing with level four except make this be 30 feet. And then click just somewhere out in space to help in the command. Another way that we can create more levels is by using the copy command. If you select on your level four, move up here to the copy command, which looks like a circle with two other circles. Click once. And I usually like to click on that line that I'm getting ready to copy and move straight up. Just come up a small one foot six inches and click and hit escape a couple times to get out of the command. One thing that you'll notice is whenever you use the copy command, something is special about that new level that you just created. First off, it's black in color and not blue. What this indicates is that a new level has not been created underneath floor plans or underneath ceiling plans for this particular level. In this instance, if we had wanted another level to be associated with it after using the copy command, this is what you can do. Underneath the view tab, we're gonna have the ability to add new floor plan views. Move over here to plan views, and you'll notice that there's an option there for floor plans. Select on that. Make sure that level five is highlighted and click on okay. And now you're gonna see a new level five floor plan view under your project browser. If you do the same process for reflected ceiling plan views, select level five, you'll now have a level five view underneath ceiling plans. If you're ever gonna use copy, Copy is good for just copying that level up, but it won't automatically create new views for you. If you use copy, 
you'll have to manually create those levels underneath the View tab and using the Plan Views tool. Let's close these two views down by clicking the X up here in the corner. I want to point out a property that's associated with these levels. If you select on the level, you'll see a little checkbox right here. If you clear that out, it'll remove the head at the end of these level symbols. So clear it out, it won't be there. Click on it and it will. There's also a little break symbol here. If you select on the break symbol, you'll be able to drag the dot to a new location. By doing it this way, if you have two levels which are very close to one another, you can separate these out so we can see graphically what the elevation and names of these two levels are. If we want to space these out a little bit further, we can. Simply select on the level line, click on the dimension. In this case, I'm going to type in 33 feet and raise this level up to that 33 foot mark. And if we wanted to bring this back down again so it's in a straight line, just click on that little dot and you can pull it down. It'll almost snap into place. And when you let go, you'll see that it's coming straight across now. So the act of creating levels is coming underneath the architecture tab and selecting the level command off of the ribbon. And the purpose behind levels is these are the different elevations at which each of your different floor plans are going to be created. As such, you'll want to set this up very early in the project because the earlier that you drop these level lines in, the easier it's going to be to start creating your first, second, third floor plans on the fly.